Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are looking at how the parachute works. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend it. You'll find the link to that video in the description. So, let's get straight into this. First of all, I've got a full clock here. And basically what a full clock is, is a clock that runs 20 times a second. Um, here are the commands, just briefly. Um, you can pause the video and just copy them. Then next what we have is a um, scoreboard command that will set my scoreboard of parachutes to 1 if I've got a filled map in my inventory. The way I get the filled map is when I use the parachutes. So to make this parachute objective, you just want to type in scoreboard objectives add parachute um and type in dummy when it finds me um and i have got if it set my parachute score to one then it will summon a chicken 10 blocks into the air with a custom name of random numbers this is just so that players can't in like survival they can't make one of these chickens because they won't know their number. Then it will TP the player to the chicken with the name of the number. So it will summon it and then the player will be TP to it. That creates the slow descending effect. Then um, I'm executing all players who's got a parachute score minimum of one. I'm detecting negative one under them for air and if it does find it it's just gonna test for at A. So basically when I'm using the parachute and I'm in the air it will be on but the minute I hit the ground that will turn off which will turn on this torch and it will activate a series of commands. First of all it will kill uh, the chicken with the name of the random number, it will clear all players of a filled map and also set the game will do mob loot false so it doesn't drop chicken and then four ticks later it will set the game will do mob loot back to true and since the chicken is silent you won't hear it die. Okay so the next two commands will just tp at e name equals parachute to at p who's got a score parachute minimum of one. Now, a parachute is an arm stand with a carpet on his head, a red carpet, which is the parachute. Then I'll TP um, at the name of the parachute one block up. So it will TP it to you and then TP it one block up, but it will look like it's always on top of your head, basically. And then these commands here on the side are just kind of optimizations um, so when a player joins the game they'll get a score of parachute set to zero it will give the chicken visibility uh, for 100 seconds true so it'll hide the particles it will TP the <coughs> TP all players have got a score parachute minimum of one to their location but to facing this direction, which is looking down. If you don't have that command, you'll just look the way the chicken is looking and you can't really control that. So that's the best way I could solve it. I made it a specific direction looking down. The next thing is it will just keep changing the rotation of the armor stand to 135 because um, it, the rotation of the armor stand always changes and you want to keep it at 135 the whole time so you stay in the same direction. Then it will execute all players who's got a score parachute of zero at their location so if you're not using the parachute at the moment then it will TP the parachute, which is the armor stand, 2,000 blocks into the air. 
You can see it's now t to 709, 7.9 million blocks up into the air so far. So, yeah, and then the minute you use the parachute again, it will just TP it back down to you, and when you're done, it will TP it far up into the sky. So, that is all it needs to work. I will leave a schematic download in the description. Also, when you do download this uh, schematic, just make sure you make your scoreboard objectives add parachute and make it a dummy. So, make sure you do that. If you don't, it won't work. Also, when you up put, if you put the schematic into your world, you need to make sure that you start up the clock again because when you get into the world, your clock will look something like this and it will look like it's on but you'll have to break this racing block and place it in again. Then I'll put it on. Also make sure it's in your spawn chunks and a spawn chunk is a thing 16 by 16 block of chunks from your world spawn so that's your spawn chunks and what they are is they'll basically be loaded all the time no matter where you are so that is that if you enjoyed please leave a like and also subscribe and i'll see you all next time